Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Governor Jerry Brown regrets open borders after nasty surprise found in his mansion. California Governor Jerry Brown, who errs on the communist side of liberal, has been one of the most prominent and outspoken advocates for open border policies which allow dangerous criminal illegals to enter his state. However, Brown just learned the dire consequences of these policies in a very personal way when he arrived home at his mansion to find a nasty surprise waiting for him. Imagine Governor Jerry Brown's surprise when a dirty homeless man broke into his mansion in Sacramento because he figured the sanctuary state politician was an open-door policy kind of guy. A homeless man who was arrested last month after breaking into California Governor Jerry Brown's home in Sacramento reportedly said he only tried entering the mansion because he figured the sanctuary state politician was an open-door policy kind of guy. The California Highway Patrol said 51-year-old Stephen Seeley was arrested April 19 and treated at a hospital for cuts he received while breaking a window to get out of the home in downtown Sacramento, located about 10 blocks from the Capitol. Source, Fox News. In a jailhouse interview, Seeley said he ran inside Governor Jerry Brown's home on April 19 through an unlocked side door after being frightened outside by a growling cat. He's an open-door policy kind of guy, so I figured the door would be unlocked or else I wouldn't have ran over there if I thought the door would be locked," said Seeley. Once inside, Seeley said he yelled out, telling the governor to hide. He said that he then began to hear the growling again, so he hid in a closet. I can't get away, I'm in a little broom closet, so the only thing to do is to dive through the window, so I dove through the window to get away," the homeless man explained from behind bars. Seeley said he heard what sounded like the roar of a large wild cat from a nearby garbage can before running into the home. He also said he was never approached by security before or after he entered the mansion. Though he's never been diagnosed with a mental illness, Seely admits he sometimes hears things, but didn't want to take any chances in case the roar came from a legitimate threat. CHP confirms that a man who was behaving erratically trespassed inside the mansion. The governor was not present and the first lady was on an upper floor of the residence when the incident occurred and had no contact with the subject, CHP spokesperson Fran Clatter said in a statement. The mansion has a robust on-site security presence 24-7, according to Clatter. Source, KCRA. The Golden State's homeless population of more than 130,000 people is now about 25 percent of the nationwide total, and cleaning up after the surging group is getting costly, topping $10 million per year, according to the state's Department of Transportation. Already heavily in debt, this is an issue that California can afford. You would think that with so many people in his state already homeless, Governor Brown would see fit to tend to the growing problem before opening California's southern border to throngs of illegal aliens the state's already burdened taxpayers cannot support. However, Brown named California the very first sanctuary state in 2017, completely bucking federal immigration laws. Under threat of possible retaliation by the Trump administration, Governor Jerry Brown signed landmark sanctuary state legislation Thursday, vastly limiting who state and local law enforcement agencies can hold question and transfer at the request of federal immigration authorities. Senate Bill 54, which takes effect in January, has been blasted as unconscionable by U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, becoming the focus of a national debate over how far states and cities can go to prevent their officers from enforcing federal immigration laws. Supporters have hailed it as part of a broader effort by majority Democrats in the California legislature to shield more than 2.3 million immigrants living illegally in the state. Source, Los Angeles Times. Clearly, the homeless man who supposedly heard a growling cat and subsequently decided to break into Jerry Brown's mansion to escape from it has some mental issues. But, will the governor rethink his open borders policies now that he has experienced firsthand the consequences they can have? I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for that to happen if I were you. If the murder of Kate Stana wasn't enough to jar him from his liberal way of thinking, I doubt this incident is going to change anything. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.